Good morning everyone, my name is Lex and this is my morning routine with four little ones. So my morning usually begins around 5.30 or 5 o'clock even sometimes. I will get our five month old puppy out of her little area that she sleeps at night and she, she always wants to give me some loving before we head over to the back door. We have a really wonderful security system in our home, so I always have to deactivate our security alarm before I can open any windows or any doors in our home. And so I usually do that. Sometimes it takes some like coercing to get our dog out of the house because she's just so excited to see me. Mabel is an English Labrador. She is five months old. <laughs> she is so funny. There she goes. The next thing that I usually try to do is get my coffee made just to kind of kickstart my day, get that caffeine in. And we use these large mason jars that have handles. You can usually find them in your mason jar area of your store. Good, good. And I'm a mess, completely incapable of just getting ice into a cup, so enjoy that. <laughs> the way that I make my coffee is I usually switch between A2 milk and raw milk if we have a raw milk order in and we have some but usually I will drink A2 milk just because it's readily available and I'll do like half A2 milk. Keep in mind it's the half portion of my cup that has ice so it's really not as much milk as it is coffee even though it sort of looks that way. And we just brew iced coffee in our regular Ninja coffee machine and then we just pour that in. By this point, Maple's usually ready to come inside. You're gonna notice a trend of me constantly bringing her back out, outside and inside and outside and inside. But I did go ahead and feed her and fill her water bowl so that when she came in, she was ready to go. And now at this point, one of my kiddos is awake. And so I'll first go and get whichever child it is. Sometimes it's Scout first, sometimes it's Sawyer. but Sawyer was the first to wake up this morning, and so judge me all you would like, but <laughs> I am setting him up to watch a show while I get everything else done that I need to. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, I heard you want to leave this place where we grew up, this old town. Just leave it all behind. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. This has been like one of his favorite shows. So happy. Don't know what you do. Hold my hand, could you hold my hand? Look me in the eyes. He's set and ready to go, and now I can head back into the kitchen and begin working on my kids' lunches for school. I have a six-year-old, a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a nine-month-old. My six-year-old is in kindergarten, my four-year-old is in her last year of preschool, and my two-year-old is the one who's sitting on the couch right now, and then my nine-month-old at this point is still sleeping. Maple will ring the bell at the back door to let us know that she needs to go outside and so she was ringing the bell at this point and I let her back out. Now it is time to get all of the lunch stuff that I have made the night prior and get that ready to go in their lunchbox. For my four-year-old, I have to pack her her whole lunch, whereas for my uh, kindergartner, he will have a bunch of snacks and then get lunch at school. Okay, 
always wanting some love in. Grab their backpacks. We have LL Bean backpacks for our kids. We had them on our trip while we were traveling and we got a patch and a pin for each one for each state that we visited. So it's just a fun way to sort of remember our trip that we traveled. Here's my little guy asking for some grapes, and these were gigantic grapes, so even cutting them up half and half I felt was still a choking hazard, so I cut them in fours for him. At this point in the morning, my daughter had already woken up. We basically passed each other as I was heading to her room. I usually go and turn off their sound machines, and some of them sleep with music as well. Willow loves sleeping with music, so I turned that off as well. All of her clothes are like so disorganized at the moment, I for sure need to go and figure that out. While I was in Willa's room, my six-year-old also woke up, and so I was able to go and grab all of his school uniform. Give me love, give me all your love, give me all your love. Sometimes I'll do this the night before if I'm really feeling like a productive mom, but to tell you the truth, honestly, by the end of the night, I'm just so tired that the last thing that I want to do is start doing a bunch of things that I can do in the morning during this time. My six-year-old and four-year-old are able to get dressed on their own, so I usually just kind of plop their clothes in front of them and they'll get dressed. How is that not strange? Just to see. Now, the last kiddo of the bunch, my nine month old, it's time for him to wake up. <laughs> just like that. Let's just having some boob before we start our day. I managed to also get my two year old dress. Yeah. That's a baby, it's not size size. No, this is size size crib. This is Scouty's crib. No, size size crib's right here. That's Scouty's crib. That's Scouty's crib. Never ending diapers. Never ending diapers. On to my second coffee of the morning. And now it is finally time for mom to have some self-care and get ready for the day. If that wasn't the case, growing while living is such a blessing I know. I got these clips on Amazon. It came in a four pack and they were really cheap. I need to link them down below for you guys. I love them so much. I've never really been a clip person until recently and I don't think I'll ever wear my hair up a different way. We can't be foolish for too long. My favorite deodorant is from Primally Pure. I use the unscented one and I love it so much. My eyebrow pencils are by L'Oreal and I use the colors Dark Brunette and Brunette. This is Shape Tape in color 22B. And then I just use a little bit of concealer under my eyes and then I go in with some bronzer. Right now I'm using like the Physicians Formula, I think it's called the Butter Bronzer. Can't be foolish for too long. And that's pretty much it. And then we head out the door to start our day and to start some school drop-offs. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. 
and like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more of these, and we'll see you in the next one.